As America awaits a verdict in the Ahmad Arbery trial in Georgia, there is backlash today over a comment that left a gasp in the courtroom. It happened when a defense lawyer said this about the slain jogger. In his khaki shorts, with no socks, to cover his long, dirty toenails. Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, stormed out of the courtroom, and today she's denouncing the lawyer's remarks. It was very, very disturbing. I thought it was very, very rude to talk about his long, dirty toenails and to totally neglect that my son had a huge hole in his chest where he was shot with that shotgun. It was so cruel and so inappropriate and really irrelevant to what is happening in this case. Is she trying to make the case that because he has dirty toenails and long toenails apparently too, that he's not really a runner? You were there in the courtroom when this toenails comment was made. What was the reaction from Ahmaud Arbery's mother? There was a gasp behind me from several members of Ahmad Arbery's family. The mother of Ahmad Arbery, she could not believe what she heard. She said, I've got to get out of here. And she quickly, almost tripping over the legs of people, walked out of the courtroom. And it was just a moment where you could tell that those words hurt her deeply. The father and son and their neighbor who say they tried to make a citizen's arrest of Arbery are putting up a self-defense claim like Kyle Rittenhouse. House. It happened like this. The case went to the jury today. Julia. She's best known for this awkward moment when she was a contestant on TV's The Bachelor in 2015 and thought her name had been called during the rose ceremony. Double embarrassing. Also, I can fix that. <laughs> and she's also remembered for the black bar producers put over her skimpy bikini. But now, Jillian Anderson has a surprising new job, publicist for Kenosha gunman Kyle Rittenhouse. Anderson tells Inside Edition she's coordinating the media hits for Rittenhouse, whose exclusive interview with Tucker Carlson aired last night. People want to kill me.